Okay, I've got to get this off my chest. Transformers 1 is, without a doubt, the best movie in the entire franchise. Period. It's better than Dark of the Moon, blows Bumblebee out of the water, and completely annihilates The Last Night, which, let's be honest, isn't even hard to do. But here's the part that's really got me riled up. None of you are watching it. Why? Why would you skip this film? And no, I don't blame you. I blame the marketing team. They botched this movie so badly, it's almost like they wanted it to fail. The trailer was a joke, and the advertising? Don't even get me started. It was straight up embarrassing. Let me break it down for you. This film takes place millions of years ago, diving into the untold origin story of Orion Pax and D-16. You know, the characters who later become Optimus Prime and Megatron? Yeah, that kind of epic story. They start off as miners, scrapping for Energon, but by the end of the movie, they're at each other's throats. And trust me, it's one of the best arcs we've seen in any Transformers film. And guess what? Brian Tyree Henry, yes, that Brian Tyree Henry, steals the entire movie as the young Megatron. I never thought I'd say this, but for once, I was actually rooting for Megatron. Megatron! The guy's a total maniac, but the way they portrayed him here? I get it. You'll get it too once you watch it. If you don't, well, maybe you just don't get good movies. But no, you're not watching it, are you? The movie is going to tank, and it's your fault. Yup, I said it. You guys are gonna let this incredible film flop while you run back to watch garbage like Revenge of the Fallen for the 50th time. Explain that to me. How does that make sense? This movie has everything. Top-tier CGI that wipes the floor with the garbage Marvel's been churning out, a gripping story, incredible performances, and a deep dive into actual lore that Transformers fans have been begging for. Did you ever play War for Cybertron or Fall of Cybertron? Then you'll love this movie. It's literally setting up that exact storyline, the fall of Cybertron and the destruction caused by the war. Do you know how good that's going to look in future films? No, of course you don't, because you're too busy sleeping on this movie. So here's the deal. Get up, get out of the house, and go see Transformers 1. I don't care if you've given up on the franchise after the last night. This movie is different. It's better, and it deserves your attention. But hey, if you'd rather miss out and complain about how everything sucks, go ahead. Just don't say I didn't warn you. Now, did you watch